Uh, yeah, I've been detoxing a lot because I've been doing chloral and body bio treatment and stuff, and it's been really helping me. And last night, I was detoxing a lot, but I went to the store anyway, and I forgot to roll up my windows when I came home because I, I was just kind of not totally there. And, and um, I guess I ran out of food and I had to go some time. And so today it rained a ton. Like, it's the most rain that we've had all year. And the car windows were open. It got wet in the car. And it got moldy in the car. And I just, I realized in the afternoon, I, I for the past, like, five hours, I've been cleaning it and trying to clean it up. And I realized I should leave the windows open until I went to bed, just so that it could air out, because it stopped raining. And it started raining again. It never rains at night here, but it started raining again, and so it's all wet in the car now, and I just, I go in the car and I react, and it's moldy, and it cuts down my breathing, and then, <laughs> and then I get emotional, and like, I came back in here, and I just felt like screaming, and like, ripping up my, my arms, and you know how mold reactions are, it's just like, a histamine reaction, you just feel terrible. And, um... <laughs> I can't breathe properly. It's I this hasn't happened to me in a long time because this is um I don't know <laughs> and um I am pissed. I contaminated my bathroom because I tried to wash the car mats in there and, and I got the shower contaminated and, and I talked to my boyfriend. And he's questioning all of this and I just I I don't know. I'm just tired. I don't even have any feelings about this anymore. Um, it's just. <laughs> And most, mostly the only feeling I have about any of this is just confusion. Like, I just didn't... It's so different from what I was expecting my life to be, and it's different from what I thought life could be, and I'm just like, really? Like, is this really... Is, is, there, is there a... Like, like, how can life be like this? Like, this isn't anything like what my life used to be like. And this isn't anything like other people's lives that I see around me, and... What happened? And, 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 like, I don't know. So, um, and I don't even feel like it's suffering. I don't even feel really that scared or sad or anything about it. And the mold fucks with my brain, so I don't, I don't even have feelings, like normal feelings about it. It's more that my brain just doesn't know what's happening. And, um, I don't know. I just, I don't. I don't even have any feelings about this anymore, and I, um, I'm gonna have to go use my remaining paper towels to try to dry out the car, and I hate myself, and this is all my fault, because I didn't roll up the fucking windows on, like, the one day that it mattered, because it doesn't rain here very much, and I don't think I'm gonna be able, I'm gonna react every time I get in my car now, and I had to throw away the ozonator, because it, contaminated, got contaminated a month or, two, month or two ago when I contaminated my entire house and I had to spend like a whole week cleaning and I could barely sleep in my house and I just like, I don't know what to do. And I just... I took some Claritin. I think that's cutting down some of the brain reaction. Yeah, I think I think that must be what's happening. I'm getting like this 
kind of druggy feeling and then the brain reaction is going way down. So a lot of the mole reaction seems to be like a histamine reaction. But my, my breathing is still down though. But I don't feel as upset though. Um, I gotta go try to clean this car. It's like I didn't really have a very easy life before getting Lyme disease or mold illness, but this is just incredible. It's incredibly different from anything I've experienced before this, and just different, challenging in this entirely different way. Um, like it just takes everything you have and and um, keeps taking everything that you have, everything that you all your strength and it's um it doesn't really let up either you know it keeps coming and I guess you get some good days and some breaks and stuff but it's um it's a marathon it's a real marathon and I'm just I'm trying to survive it's this long crisis and I know it's an emergency I know I have to detox my body because it's very clear when I detox I get healthier and my eyes are better and my my brain is better and I get endorphins finally for the first time in years you know like they come back more and so I'm just it's like a survival story like people that get caught in the wilderness or whatever and have to survive it's very very much like that and you just have to keep believing and follow whatever clues that you get and I mean I guess this is part of life sometimes crazy shit happens to people and they have to survive so what am I complaining about? I guess only a few people really have a cushy life, and I was one of them for a while, a relatively cushy life. Not even so much, but I was pretty traumatized. I didn't have a great family. I didn't really have it that great at all. I, didn't, I, oh, I, was, I was smart and I got a good education. That, that's how I had it good. So, I'll have to clean the car.